sha 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 happy thursday is it thursday i think it's thursday don't know but if it is happy thursday yeah it's thursday because tomorrow friday so i got some exciting news y'all ready y'all ready ready y'all ready okay so tomorrow is my baby's first field trip and i get the chaperone <laughs> Y'all excited for me? I'm excited for me. But it's kind of 150. I'm finna go. Well, I'm in a car now. I'm finna get head out to go get the kids from school. And then I'll probably stop and get them like an icy or a freeze pop or something from somewhere. And we we'll probably go to the park and have a little playtime. It is super duper hot outside. It's 85 degrees. Being pregnant in, in the heat, it's like it does not mix. But I've been, I'm not gonna say I've been doing good. I've been doing good. No, but I've, I've been doing good though, honestly. But yeah, it's been a struggle. So that's what we're gonna go do. I wanna go get their bikes out the storage. I might make their dad do that tomorrow. So when they go to mom's house, they have something to do. Yeah. I don't know. Or I might get them their scooters. Something to do with their mom house tomorrow. Because I'm going to work. Your girl is going to work tomorrow. Thank God. Thank you, God. I was just so irritated and frustrated because I didn't have no babysitter. My siblings said that they'll watch them from 6 to 11 until I get off. And once I get off, I could just go grab them. Or whatnot. Yeah, I'm so hot. The air conditioner is on, by the way. But I had cut it down so I can talk to y'all. So, yeah. My hair just keeps sticking out of these. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to it tomorrow. How I'm gonna style it tomorrow for my baby's field trip. But I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah, that's the exciting news that I have, by the way. I'm so excited. And yeah, we are gearing towards the end of my pregnancy. <laughs> so I'm 30 weeks. I think I'm 30 weeks. Yeah, I'm 30 weeks. So Sunday, this coming Sunday, I will be 31 weeks, and then I only have nine weeks to go, y'all. It, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all probably like you didn't did it two times before, but I feel like this time is different. I was younger in a different head space, in a different mind space, versus now when I'm practically almost 30. Before I was practically 21. I was pregnant with the twins at 23, so I feel like. No, 22. Yeah, 22, and I had them at 23. So it's like, I feel like back then versus now, it's completely different. It's like a whew, huge jump in age. Like I said, I got pregnant when I was 22 with the twins. And Cardi came shortly after. So, yeah, I had them all within like two years span, if that. Not even two years. Like, the twins were only one when I had Cardi. So all that happened so quickly and it came back to back versus now where I had a, a good break in between almost and I'm starting back over again. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. And I don't know. I'm having really I'm having a lot of mixed emotions right now on top of other stuff that I'm going through as well. But it's really mixed emotions when it comes to being prepared to have my baby and I also have to give me a hospital bag and stuff like that oh my god it is coming up y'all I got a month to decide if I want to do a maternity shoot maybe less than a month and yeah I don't know what to say it's, oh happy June 1st today is June 1st so oh my god yeah my heart it's like in my stomach. I don't know. But mm, let's go get my boys. It's 154. He got out of 210. We like literally right around. We not too far from him. So I can't say they're around the corner because we're not. But we're not too far from them. Oh, one more thing. So I wrote on Instagram. Um, 
if you're curious what my Instagram is, it's unpopular loner shy, underscore shy or something like that. It's something like that. I know that's the name, unpopular loner shy. But anyway, I told I told these folks how cornstarch was nasty because everybody been gassing it. I didn't say it was nasty, but it's not for me. And I also told them how I eat tissue. Sherman tissue to be that I don't swallow it. I just chew on it and then I spit it out It's like the it, it has a flavor in it or something, but I chew on tissue You know like some people eat deodorant um, Soap like some people eat like weird stuff when they're pregnant And tissue is my my thing tissue is my go-to so I prefer Sherman. I have tried Angel Soft. I have tried, um, I can't think of the other names of it, but I have tried different tissue, type of tissue. Super thin tissue is a no-go. Um, but, yeah, okay, y'all probably like, girl, what? But, yeah, I got I to gotta thank for tissue. And people was coming for me. They weren't coming for me for real, for real. Like, well, they was like, girl, I can't eat no tissue. I'll eat this, I'll eat that, but I ain't eat no tissue. Like, I love cornstarch, and they love... This one girl uh, from school, she, uh, she was like... She came from my tissue thing, but she said she ain't soap. Soap is nasty. I tried soap. Soap burns. Like, in your mouth too, it's like it's hot, it's spicy or something. I've had, it was a, as a kid, but still, I still remember not to eat no soap. Not to make sure it got in my mouth. But, yeah. If y'all got some weird, if y'all have some weird pregnancy cravings, let me know what it is. Did y'all eat tissue? Because I have people come, I have people in DM me like, I ate tissue too. I thought I was the only one. Like, no, boo. I eat tissue, too. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. Dad got you. Say hey. He, I said, how dare you. All right, I got the boys. I didn't say hi. 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 See, y'all see him spinning a crowd about saying, not saying hi. But whole time, he finna stick his tongue out and do some extra stuff. That's crazy, ain't it? Right. I didn't say hi. All right, Ch Chase. I'm talking now. Two shampoos for the carpets. I did I really But I wanted the professional done, so I gotta see what it's giving.
car out y'all, so I decided to be a chaperone for this field trip. I regret it. We're at this little kitty museum. Go press the buttons right there. So I'm home now. Um, um, yeah, I'm home. Long story short, um, I'm finna to make me something to eat. This light is so irritating. It's very irritating. But I'm home from the field trip. I'm gonna just say that was my first and my last time chaperoning ever. These kids, I mean, they they were kids. Long story short. Three kids, man, kids. Oh, let, me, let me heat my food up real quick. Alrighty, y'all. So, I'm home. I just got off work. It's like after 11 something. I'm not sure what time it is. Hold on. Alright, I just checked. It's 11.31 p.m. The kids do not have school Monday. Today is Friday. So, yeah. My baby. Yeah, I know. My baby had his field trip and everything. Today's first field trip. I, um... When as a chaperone, <laughs> won't be doing that again. <laughs> not even for her. Nope, we're not even doing it for her. I guess I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit and talk to y'all. Like I said, I just got off. Um, nothing exciting happened at work, so I just once he got there and once the guy that relieved me got there, I dipped. No questions asked, nothing. The day went smooth. I just had to I sat in my I sat in the car and relaxed and like I was talking to y'all but I'm not gonna upload that footage. I'm not gonna add that footage to this video. I'm just talking about certain stuff like or stuff that happened throughout the day and stuff like that. But I honestly don't remember everything no more, so yeah. I have to shampoo these carpets. I'm gonna get the open. I'm only do the open space there. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do it when I do it. I'm only gonna do the open spaces, like obviously, because that's where the spills will be in the open spaces. But I, um, before my baby gets here, I want to do two professional cleanings um, of the living room, the boys' room, our room, and this little hallway section, which is part of the living room. It shouldn't be that much. The lady gonna call. Well, she's supposed to call me back. I'm gonna call my sister and get her number. Yeah, I feel a little how. This baby hungry. Yeah, this baby is hungry every five minutes, bro. It never fails. Like I can't, I can't get comfortable. I either have to use the bathroom or I'm hungry. Then the thing is, when I'm eat, I get thirsty, so I have to drink something. So I'm back using the bathroom. Shh, girl. Girl, then she gonna kick when I said girl the nerve. Girl you can exit. You can definitely exit, okay? Nah, I mean I ain't even play this game with you. I'm not finna entertain your BS either. You can definitely exit. Oh, you ain't gonna say now, huh? You ain't kicking now, huh? Or she better realize I'm the boss up in here. I'm the boss. I'm the I'm the HBIC in his house. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking around. Don't take me serious. I'm joking. I'm really, really joking. I, I think she don't know that I'm joking because she stopped moving. Oh, no, never mind. She's moving again. 
Yeah. She better not start now. Won't be nothing. Okay. But overall, I had a good day, y'all. Um, <sighs> it's just see I'm tired. I keep I keep yawning. I didn't yawn like six or seven times since starting this video and it's like girl. Oh I had this bra on it was I I can't even tell y'all something but I don't remember what it was but anyway I had this bra on y'all it was so ways in my body tight like tight tight tight, tight. <laughs>